This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course D, Lesson 8, Nested Loops in Maze, Part 9. Let's see. Get the zombie to the sunflower using only the blocks available. Ooh, okay. So we have, they want us to use nine blocks or less. Okay, nine blocks or less. This is tricky. All right, we're going to move forward twice. We can use four repeats four all right so we're going to definitely need to use code over and over let's start with a repeat i definitely want to avoid that but get the sunflower so i'm going to say go forward maybe five i'm not totally sure but i can only use two forward so here's one of them let's try okay so that looks like long enough now i would want to turn left after that if I put left in here, I try to go off the path right away because it goes move forward, turn left, boop, move forward, turn left. I only want to do that after the code's move forward five times. So I want this beneath it. And now the code goes forward, forward, five times, drops down, then turns left. Let's try. Okay, good. Now, I don't have enough forwards, but it looks like this is the same distance, and I would want to turn left at the end. And if you notice, same thing here, and turn left. So I'm going to put all this repeat stuff in another repeat. Let's try three. So now the code will say, okay, repeat all of this three times. And it says, yes. Drops down. Okay, well, first, repeat this five times. Forward once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Turn left. Got it. Hits the bottom. Goes back to the top two more times. Repeat this five times. Once, twice. I think it will get us around. Let's see. Great. So now, while we do have access to another repeat, I'm going to drop that in and our last move forward. How many times, though, is a bit tricky. I'm going to say three. So it is three, but then I'm going to want to turn, turn left. And I don't have any more move forwards, but I do have a repeat. So now I'm going to put this over here, and this path is the same. So I can use all of this and ask the computer to do that twice. This one is tricky. Repeat and repeat and repeat. So now the code runs all of this three times. So move forward five, then turn left, hits the top, loops back, moves forward five, turns left, forward five, left. Then after it's done running that, it says, okay, oh, now I'm going to run all of this twice. Move forward three times left, move forward three times left. Let's see. Oh, we did it. So double check your code, okay? If you don't get this, it is difficult. Go back and watch it again, all right? It's, it's, it's important that we learn how to do this because we can make some really cool games, and I'm excited to get to that point. Great, let's keep going.